Hey guys, welcome back to another edition to Supernatural Whispers, and I'm your host, Nicole Gaspard. And I, I do appreciate y'all listening from all over the world, and uh, hope y'all having a great, happy holiday for my Jewish listeners. So let's just start it, shall we? So in this episode, I thought I'd share my personal experiences with paranormal, mainly about ghost trains. Uh, y'all heard of ghost ships, well, or ghost cars, and this was part of my interest. Uh, ghost trains and locomotives, you know, throughout the years. I mean, think about it, trains, I believe it was even before cars was made. But, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. In fact, I'm gonna look up more historic info about trains during this episode. And uh, along with my own personal experiences. And, uh, I hope you guys enjoy this episode, Fan of Trains and My Experiences. So, let's just get started. Let's just start with my personal experiences. And if I have time, I'll read off the famous, uh, content Fan of Trains throughout the world. Alright, so what happened was, um, as y'all know, I've collected some of haunted objects, and, uh, most of which I've given away over the years, and, uh, I still have one haunted doll, Emily. I don't think, uh, I would give her up, because we have a strong attachment, I guess. So that's what happens if you obtain haunted, um, uh, collectibles or objects or dolls, you get an attachment. And just be aware, be aware of that. So, um, yeah, so what happened was, um, I even wrote this about haunted Emily Dolls history in, uh, my, one of my second books, Haunted Vessels and Cursed Objects. I'm an author of many books, and most of my books are Amazon or even Barnes and Noble. So, um, and I have my first book signing over here in Barnes Noble in Jamaica, California, a couple of years ago. That was cool. That, that's when my, um, 13th book came out, I believe, Random Spirits. Now, I thought of that title, Random Spirits, because, you know, as a medium, a psychic medium, I prefer to be called that because I have other various abilities as well besides, besides mediumship, per se. So, um, like, for example, I, besides seeing and hearing dead people <laughs> from time to time, I can remote view. So, um, if you're on a case or with a team, I always like to help you guys out, help me up, alright guys? And I'm also a member of the Mori Lacey Foundation, so, uh, that's cool. For about a year. And since being a fan of the Mori, I've just told, and to be a member, so it's pretty cool. Anyway. And, uh, speaking of the Warrens, uh, I'm supposed to have Chris McKinnell, the red son, uh, and director of the Warren Lakes Foundation this past week. But unfortunately, a flu bug got to me. And, um, so I do apologize to you guys in that part. And also, and also we re-raised to me again on January 30th. So, hopefully we'll get to do that that time. And I'm not sure if it'll be live yet, but we'll, I'll keep you posted. So I do thank you guys for listening and for all the downloads and everything like that. It's real amazing. I didn't think there would be anyone interested in this podcast because of my poor, uh, radio voice. <laughs> I didn't try, I didn't try. And, um, so yeah, it's like, I, I think, I think I was born with these psych, many psychic ability and then later on in life I come to my awakening for uh, I believe it was twelve thirteen when I started utilizing them because uh when I started hearing spirits I feel to run on uh there are evil in in this spirit and unfortunately I hear both. So when you're in a second medium you know you hear from both sides to the evil spirit the entity whatnot. So uh we can be useful on the best use of our case, you know. 
And so I'm always hoping to help others, and uh, that's my main goal is to help others. Many books as well. It's not for fame, it's not for many. I mean, seriously, if I could do that for that part, I would be in Hollywood right now. But anyway, um, my goal is to simply help others. You know, and uh, if I can't help, maybe I can steer you the right direction. So uh, I know, because I, I don't um, have a team or anything like that, unfortunately. Uh, I guess I was meant to do this solo. <laughs> but at least now I'm with the Wiley C Foundation, and that's good enough for me. So, um, yeah, let's proceed with this episode. Ghostly uh, Phantom Prayings and my experiences, right? Now, I know for a fact there are Phantom Powers. Phantom trains. Um, you know, think of the movies. I might refer to movies. Sorry, I think of the movie Christine. There's a phantom car that still steers the heavy, heavy out of me. And, um, you know, and if you haven't seen it, it's Jimmy King's film. And, uh, I believe it's a book also, Christine. So, um, yeah, take a look at that, guys. And, um, so I was like, Man, can you imagine there's a bit of power like that? Or even a train? Um, there should be even ghostly, you know, if I remember right, from my research. Um, there's even been almost accidents or whole souls because, especially specifically on the highways, right? Um, they might see out of a little car speed right past you and you're like, where the hell did that come from? You know, these type of scenario is like, I've had several of those close calls myself. And, um, so it makes me wonder why I'm still alive. You know, I guess because I'm sure it isn't, you know. <laughs> so, um, yeah, today is the start of, um, Hanukkah, so happy Hanukkah for my Jewish listeners. And so, um, I want to give that, um, sponsor message real quick, because I do have one sponsor left. One of the sponsors is even as Lady Hill. Um, Studio 6, Paranormal Entertainment, well, Mr. J, that wish you best of luck. And, uh, thank you for having me aboard. And so, I want to give our other sponsor a shout out. So, with this, I help on Brian J. Laverty. And, uh, he's from Parapost. So, thank you guys, Parapost Network. So, um, without it, this wouldn't be possible. I can either go live or just audio. So, let me know if you if you're ever a guest. If you prefer either or, or both. <laughs> so, I can figure out a way to send out these, uh, my podcast on my YouTube. I'm also on YouTube, guys. So look me up on YouTube. Nicole Daspard now is Supernatural Whispers podcast. And, um, so this, I'm pretty easy to find. You can even probably just me. So, um, yeah. Go oh, back to more of a story. I'm getting there, guys. I'm getting there. So, uh, I'm gonna take a few short breaks. In fact, I'm gonna take one right now while I take a water break. Stay tuned. Okay, we're back. So thank you guys for staying with me this far. If you have kiddos, <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, going back to the episode. Yeah, about my true experiences with the supernatural and paranormal. Um, it's like anything's possible at this point, right? So, uh, and I even had UFO experiences. So I, I did the whole show on that, and uh. Oh my goodness, where to start, right? So, um, so let's start with my haunted Emily Dolls history. So I got her from a haunted doll collector that wants to give her up uh, from England. Oh yeah, I went from England. So, uh, the story is kind of sad. So, um, 
when he had her, she actually moved around on her own. I'm like, oh no, I'm not another animal. But anyway, at least she's not evil. Okay, put it that way. In fact, she's rather protective of her owners. So, and one of my investigative friends, Bill, I uh, hey Bill, um, he had her for about a month. And he said his house needs to be so active. You know, it's so crazy. And when he had her for that period of time, things have gone absolutely quiet. I mean, so quiet is you hear a pin drop, right? So uh, that would be too eerie for me if the place is all of a sudden too quiet. You know what I mean? <laughs> but anyway, and I and I moved out here in a countryside area. And sometimes it is kind of eerie to see quite um instead of hard I would hear dog we have many dogs here in the neighborhood. And chickens, roosters, there's even a farm that's like in front of our house. They have two beautiful horses. They let me pet, however they won't let me ride which I can totally understand for it. Because I am kind of danger prone. I <laughs> so um yeah, you can see that. But um, they'll let me don't talk to us, they'll let us pet the horses, it's pretty cool. They even have cute little billy yokes, it's so cute. <laughs> but anyway, you know my story. Sorry you guys just tend to get off track sometimes. And um like I said, probably off the top of my head now. And um speaking of ways before the story I wanna um give Christmas channel a shout out. Uh, as I was supposed to have a last guest this past week, um, having a flu buzz got me, so I had a, we had a reschedule our program, which will be on January 30th. Mark your calendar says January 30th, and I believe at 6 p.m. and we'll see about time, uh, with time differences. So, um, we'll keep you posted, okay? So, thank you, Chris, for understanding and everything, you know. Tell me back. So, what happened with Emily, though, right? So, after my friend Bill sent her back to me and things started calm down a bit, I tell you what, when I had her for a while, I would have strange, vivid dreams. I still do from time to time. And, uh, when I see the dream, I've seen, I've seen her in an aftermath. And what happened was um, she apparently killed herself in front of a moving train. Because the story was that when Emily was betrothed to be married, she found her fiancé with, with someone else, let's put it that way. And so she wasn't too happy about it, of course, and she just ran all the way to the train station and this decided to take her own her own life. And uh, suicide is you know you know, pretty serious. And so I'm gonna put down the suicide number and in fact I should have had it off hand. You can always talk to someone. Yeah, the suicide number is nine eight eight. So, uh, there's always help available nowadays, even still online. Um, 988, guys. Or 911, for that fact. But 988, if you, you know, really need to help someone, I'll try to be there for you guys because I know I've been down that path. And, um, it's pretty, pretty scary, you know. Life should be scary. So, anyway, but after she had that ordeal, I've had that uh, vivid dream of her dangling up in a high tree. Now, talk about scary dream. I mean, seriously, that just um, took me to the core after that. Because I just realized that could be Emily. You know, so when you are collecting these Supposedly haunted items. Be sure you know what you're doing and how to take care of them. Right? You don't want to end up with another animal. 
So anyway, moving on. I am. Um, I'm gonna take another short break here, and then I'll tell my ghostly phantom train story. Stay tuned. Okay. Be sure to look up my books. Nicole Jasper. I'm always up at Amazon or Barnes and Noble. Perfect time for stocking stuffers. And be sure to pick up your books. Nicole Jasper on Amazon and Barnes and Noble. Okay, we are back. So let's dive into more of a, my personal experiences in the supernatural and paranormal. Um, so since this podcast geared toward that area, spirituality, and I'm open to that, you know. And so what happened was, you know, me and medium, I, my strongest gift besides seeing spirits, I can hear spirit and things, other things that Otherworldly things that others, you know, don't perceive. But anyway, you guys see the picture. <laughs> so, ooh, bring down my echo here. Hopefully now. Okay, I kind of like the echo a little bit. But anyway, let me know what you guys prefer. Okay. Um. So yeah, when when uh, I was with my stepdad, we were coming home. We have a gate and. We have a long driveway, right? And our mailbox is right there. So, um, when we get out of the car, and I was opening the gate, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, I just shouted, like, train! You know? And, like, where did that come from? <laughs> Supposedly, there are phantom trains here in our hometown. Him and California. So perhaps I've been hearing that as well. What do you guys think? But anyway, yeah, I've been hearing like the strings, train whistles. And so it's like, hmm. It's like they're from a far distance. Supposedly there was a working, I think there was a working train at one point in time in history at the edge of our town and uh, we're actually we're in a far end probably close to it and we're also close to a couple of airports and uh, so yeah it's just for me surprising that there were you know things in this area this is quite deserted I mean we have farms we're like a mile away we're a mile away from the city. So yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if there were trains working in that every day. So that's one of my stories about hearing an actual phantom train sound. Sometimes also while well, one phantom uh, train sounds, I would hear other things as well. I would hear bells. And when I heard a bell, I'm like, I told the spirits, okay, what does this mean? You know, what is this beauty about being a, a psychic medium? You can ask for yourself, right? I'm like, okay, what does this, what does this mean when I heard the bell? Like, I heard a bell with the bell, like, ding, you know, I heard it like that. And then like, okay, I was glued, I heard ding. Okay. Okay, so that's not my intention. And, uh, I actually wasn't afraid, it just got my attention. So, um, so finally the spirit said, that's the sign of Archangel Gabriel. I was trying to say it real fast, like they said, so fast, you almost have missed it if you haven't really been tuning in. They said, Archangel Gabriel. I, I cannot say it that fast, but anyway, try to say that five times, okay. <laughs> 
But yeah, it's like, whoa, I would hear ding. The one that's happening. I usually have my TV off, my radio turn off, my other TV was turn off. Where else can it come from? Hmm. And then another time I heard a horn, an old fashioned horn. Right, and um, if I could duplicate your sound, I would, but I can't. <laughs> But it's an old fashioned horn, maybe from an older car model that Ford might used to have. But it's more than that, it seems like it's more like in the lines of a band. Maybe I heard a ghostly band. Huh. Um, like the horns that when the angels would play up in heaven. And you know, I had some of you may know that I connect quite well with the angels. And uh so I haven't had these experiences for a while and then all of a sudden I would hear these different types of instruments. Now I have a phantom guitar and I have a well I was I should say rewind. I have a haunted guitar. Okay. That's behind me. I'm hoping it would chime in during this episode. You never know. Let me know if you guys hear anything else other than my voice during these episodes. You might just hear the EVP, you know. EVP is a sort of like um, we put out on, right? Taxi those phantom styles and, you know. So that's why I love doing these episodes. Because you might just get more than one message. So, uh, let me know what you guys hear, okay? <laughs> so anyway, um, do I have anything else I want to share? Um, 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 um okay. <laughs> I try not to say um too many times, but, um, uh, yeah, I think that's basically it that I have to share for now. But I just want to get this one or two more episodes out for this year, and, um, and I think... Hopefully, you will have some more great guests for this podcast. If you are, you know, someone that would like to be our guest, just uh, shoot me a message. I'm usually on Facebook, Twitter, it's whatever you call it. Uh, yeah, TikTok, YouTube. So, I'm mostly on Facebook nowadays. So, uh, yeah, hook me up. Uh, you'll be part of my show and, and my email, Nicole Jasper, number eight, at gmail.com. Pretty easy. And I see where else you can find me. I'm also on Amazon and Barnes and Noble for my mini book. I'm up to about 15 plus notebooks, so that'll be 16. Yeah, 16 books out now. And of course, I got few more ideas up my sleeve for a couple more books. I'm hoping to get um at least twenty before I go. <laughs> but anyway, um I'm almost there. I'm almost up to my first goal. I'm almost up to twenty books. So I'm proud of myself for that. So I'm I'm more of a independent author. And um yeah, it's been a great journey for me and uh so anyway I hope you all enjoyed this rather short episode, but I just want to get that out there. Um, have you ever experienced ghostly phantom trains? Let me know. I know they're out there. You might just hear one. <laughs> so anyway, thank you all for listening. Let me know where you're listening from. I know this podcast is going to level Spotify, you know, and with like sponsors, you know, we're everywhere you're listening podcast me so um yeah i do appreciate it and i'm also available if you ever need a guest for your show all right guys so um i appreciate the opportunity that does help grow our podcast and uh yeah have a very safe happy hanukkah and happy holidays guys stay spooky I think this video here. <laughs> right.